everyone, my name is Baldain Snow, and today if you've read the title, I will be showing you how to make one of these. Well, not one of these, actually, no. let's just get that out there. I'm showing you how to make one of these, kind of. So, we're making a FNAF plushie today, except I'm not going to sew it. I'm only using hot glue, so if you don't know how to sew, then all you have to use for this is a hot glue gun. So there's a couple things we'll need for this video. So let me just show you what you'll need for this tutorial. Oh, uh, hi there. What, wait, force trooper? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, the youngest girl, I just came to tell you that I'm going to ed edit videos for Eggstock. Edit videos for Eggstock? Yeah, Eggstock, he's a YouTuber. You should probably go subscribe to him, by the way, guys. Eggstock? Or I'm gonna go edit his videos. Okay, I see it. Bye. All right, let me show you the supplies you'll need. You're going to need scissors, a glue gun. I highly advise you also have a gluing tray or just a mat to die out. And this is next. This next one's a big one for fleeces. You're gonna need a dark blue fleece and a lighter blue fleece it, it it's it's appearing a little bright on camera so maybe just get a little darker just whatever colors you think works for withered bond or whatever character you're making you're gonna need not much red fleece just a little make sure there there's enough room for your cut like some kind of a square like this. So grab some red fleece. You're gonna need white fleece, gray fleece, and this um black fleece here. I decided to use one with sort of a pattern on it, as you can see. You can just use regular old black fleece if you want. And um, so yeah. And uh, also, you you will need regular black fleece. I forgot to grab it, but I'll go get it real quick. And um, yeah, and that's everything you'll need. I hope. Oh, actually, I forgot. You're gonna need glue sticks, and you're gonna need stuffing. You can get from a pillow, a plushie, really whatever. I just got this from the store, so you're gonna need. Oh, and also maybe a tool to uh, stuff the stuffing into tight spaces. I don't think you'll need it, but just grab it anyways. Let's get started making this push. Real, real quickly, you're also gonna need like regular black. So you're gonna want the darker fleece, the darker blue fleece, not the lighter fleece right now. So in order to make uh, this body, but on the same scale as this plushie, what you're gonna wanna do first is, obviously, you're gonna wanna take dark blue fleece. You're gonna wanna take it, you're gonna wanna fold it over itself, like how you would fold clothes. You wanna take it at the place where you fold it, grab your scissors, and you wanna cut a square. You wanna make it a pretty big square, because remember, you can always trim down fleece, but you can never add fleece. So, you're gonna wanna make it pretty big. So, yeah. This is one of my first times actually doing this, so it might look a little sloppy. But, I'd say somewhere around that size. And remember, if we're, we're gonna turn this inside out, so it's gonna get smaller. So like, let's just put that over him. And like, let's see what it looks like from the back. It's like a uh, mid-size. I think I'm gonna trim it down a little. You may have other problems, so you can trim it down how much you want. Uh, this tutorial might be a little hard to follow, but whatever. Okay, so you're gonna wanna go to the bottom where it's folded, and then you're gonna wanna cut it at the seam there. So that, so the reason why we fold this is that we have two identical square pieces and now we're gonna need a spot for the legs so take this one this is gonna be the back put it down there take this one 
and cut two little circles, kind of like that. Try and make them not too big. I don't really know how big they should be, but uh, this is why it might be kind of hard to follow, but I'm just gonna cut something like that. Should be good. So you're gonna have front and the back. And now we're gonna move on. And now we're gonna move on to the bottom. Grab the darker fleece again. This time don't fold it over, just keep it flat. And you're gonna wanna cut out a semicircle. Make it a pretty big semicircle. So, yeah. Something like this still might need to be trimmed down. And this is gonna be our bottom. So we're gonna need to make holes for the legs here. So hold it over like that. And right here, cut some things like down like that. Scissors. Let's do that. Oh, and also since it's gonna go right here, you should probably put the outer the body onto there and then just trim down the axis. Get something like that should be good. You're gonna wanna take the front piece off, get the back, and you're gonna wanna take this and see if it can go over. If it can't Guys, I may have messed up this tutorial. This back piece, you're gonna wanna make it bigger. So we're gonna surround the whole thing. You're gonna trim this down a little though. Okay, so you should have something like this. And um, yeah, next up, we're gonna glue these pieces together. You wanna take these two front pieces, flip it like this. You're gonna wanna take this, and we're gonna spew some Just like that. And you're just gonna wanna press it down. And yeah. That's that. Pretty easy. Use a glue gun. And then when you flip it inside out, it's gonna end up like that eventually. We're not at that step yet. So next what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the back. So you're gonna take up this piece here. What you want to do is you're going to want to wrap it around here like that and just glue it on. Don't worry if it's too long, you can trim it off. Then if you glue it on the back, it should look something like this. And again, make the camera follow. So and then if you turn this inside out, it'll look like that. And it's going to look basically just like, like this one that I sewed, except it'll be glued and it's way faster. So, um, yeah, let's move on to gluing these together. So you're gonna wanna take it, see these pieces, connect them together, glue it at the top, and glue it down here, just with a little bit of glue so there's enough room for the arm to go in there, and do the same for the other side. Okay, I'm pretty sure it should look like this with these two ends glued together and a place in the middle for the arm. Same thing on the other side. And now it's time for the arms and legs. Take the fleece again. You're gonna wanna double it and cut out a really long rectangle. Make sure it's not too tall. Just make sure it's pretty long. And you're gonna wanna and make sure it's flipped over so that you get two and do that one more time. So you have four limbs. So you have four limbs all together for the arms and legs. Trim these bits right here. This should look good, and you should have four of them if you did it correctly. See these? We're just gonna fold them over like this. And let's make sure they're big enough or small enough to do to be the legs and the arms. So you're gonna wanna take your body back and see if it's about the right size to go in these holes. this and about the right side for this so you're gonna want to take these fold them over and glue the tops I'm just like that 
and repeat with the other one. And you should have four of these little things with these in the middle like that. And yeah. Next we're gonna cut out circles with the light blue fleece. But only make three because on Withered Bonnie's leg, he's going to have a gray circle. So make three light blue circles and one gray one. And then you're gonna wanna make sure they fit the hole. Glue them on the top. And then they should be good. Okay, I just realized I messed some things up because um, you see this extra arm here? Wither body only has one arm, he's missing one arm. So you can just yeet that out of here. You're only gonna need three limbs with one as a little gray, so just, just please, please don't make an extra arm like I did. So, uh, yeah. And also he has a bow tie, so you're gonna need a little bit more red than what I got because he has a bow tie, so make sure to get more red. And next up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the limbs and flip them inside out like this. Do that with all four. I mean, three. Put your inside out. You're going to want to take your body. You're going to want to know that the gray one is a leg and whichever one else is also a leg. What you're going to want to do is you're going to see these leg holes down there. You're going to want to make sure you put this this one into this leg hole so you're gonna want to stuff it in kind of like this and um yeah i don't i'm pretty sure you guys know where i'm going pull it back put some glue on it and push it in there so that stuff can't okay, even glue it now okay i'm gonna head and glue both legs in so you're gonna take your hand, put it inside the body, and push this other leg out, just like that. And for the arm, you're gonna wait, you wanna make sure it's like this, inside out, on the ugly side. You're gonna wanna put this through there, kind of just like the legs. Oh, actually, you're gonna wanna put this arm not on this side with the gray leg, but on the other side. So you're gonna wanna stuff it in there and glue around the sides, just like the legs. Once you've got it in there, you're gonna wanna pop it out, just like the arms. And then you're gonna okay, just redo all the wires. Okay, so you're gonna wanna take a long rectangle of blue, another long rectangle of blue, and that's all blue, only two blue wires for the arms. Only one red wire for the other. You can make these as long or as wide as you want. It really depends. And then basically, you can take them, put a glue all along the end, and then like roll it off. So, kind of like that. So, that, okay, so once you have all the wires, what you're gonna wanna do is take a wire, push it. shut then that's basically it for the main parts of the body so we're gonna turn it inside out and add the details. cut out a shape like this with the light gray i mean light blue as you can see and can you guess where this goes if you guess inner body ding 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 you'd be correct you are the winner so i'm pretty sure you can tell what we do with this take it in there and basically you just glue it on there. So pretty sure you can figure out what to do. Hopefully it should be something like this. And now we're gonna add the button and the boat on there. Button, body, glue gun, glue it on. Button, get that here. 
go. And let's just... Boom! There we go. And that's our bow tie right there. We're going to take this. Glue it on right there. But, we're not going to glue it on until we put the head on. So that it doesn't really get in the way. So, we'll just put that to the side right now. And now let's cut out some glitter. Okay, sorry I kind of didn't really show you how to do the bow tie or the withering here I made, but it's not really that hard, and I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to make the bow tie and the withering, you can just use Sharpie or whatever. So, um, yeah, with that done, wow, I believe that actually only leaves us with the head, so... Hey guys, we're back. We're gonna make the head now. As you can see, the lighting looks a little different, I think. That's because I took a little bit of time between making the body and starting on the head. And before I'm starting this tutorial, I just finished up this little prototype, which I can do things with to test out design and stuff. I just made a little head for it. I think the uh, Wither body heads should work, so let's just set down right there. And, um, let's get to this head. We're gonna need some dark blue. We're gonna need the dark blue place we use for the color of the body. Okay, Okay, so you're gonna wanna cut out some kind of piece like this, like an oval with a semicircle and a flat bottom. You're gonna need two of these. And now we're gonna cut out a pretty thick and really long line to go. Sure, cut it out of the dark blue. Okay, uh, something like this should be good. Um, you're gonna take a, a headpiece, lay it down there. You can take this and basically just kind of like wrap it around and glue it around the whole thing. But see where the bottom is, right down here. You're gonna leave like like about like a three finger space so like glue here to here don't we just leave the space open you can cut off the excess stuff if you have some excess okay i'm gonna glue it so you guys can okay so if you've done it correctly you've gone all the way around the head left a little hole at the bottom and it basically looks like this and you just turn the head out but Right now, if it's too tall, you can trim it down. I think it's perfect size. We're gonna take this other one and glue it onto here, and then that should be the base of the head done. So I'll be right back with you guys after I glue it. Okay, well, I got both sides glued, and so let me just turn this inside out. See how it looks like? See what it looks like? See that's a good head. With a body here, of course, we're gonna have to cut off the face, but I don't know about you guys, but it looks like a pretty good head to me. So, uh, just kind of toss that over there and let's cut the face off. Okay, so the head's stuffed, and with that, we're gonna need to make the face, but I think first we're gonna try. I think first we're gonna try um making I think we're gonna do the ears first. So uh unstuff the head, unstuff the head, and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so you should have these long things here, and you're gonna glue them. Like you're gonna glue around the edges, all the way down here, but don't don't glue the bottom. And then turn it inside out, and uh that should be an ear. Can stick it on right there. Right over there. Somewhere. Boom! Okay. So you got one, two, two ears. And as you can see, I already got the inner ear pieces on there. I didn't glue them on yet, but I'm sure you can tell what our next step is. Let's glue the ear piece. Okay, so here are the ears. Let's uh, attach them to the head over there. Okay, so we have these holes in here. And you can see I just cut them at the top of the head. Ears are gonna go, you're gonna take them like this and then stuff them in there. 
so okay so I went ahead and stuck the ears in those little holes and I also glued them in there so yeah so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take a little bit of glue glue it in there and then close the ears shut so that you can't stuff them because if if you can stuff them then they're not gonna be like Funko so you, you, you can make it so you can stuff them, but I'm going to close them. At least I Okay, so I glued up the ear holes at the top. And all you're going to want to do is, let's see if it turned out correctly. Perfect. We got your little... Wither body kind of looks like Bonnie right now, but yeah. So, everything should go according to plan. Next, we're gonna do some cutting to get that inner face look. So, uh, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it now. Now, um, I don't really want to do this on camera because I might mess it up. Basically, I'm gonna cut like here. And then a little bit through here, and then back down to here, and then the front of the face will come off. Okay, I'm gonna move. Okay, so I cut it, and here's how it looks. Uh, it doesn't look the best, but next up we're gonna need to cut some black leaves. Okay, so I got these two pieces of black here, and I'm just gonna glue one around the top of the face. And then this one I'll trim down, glue it around here, and glue it to this side. And um, hopefully it turns out pretty good. Okay, I just glued the um, black piece on. And now I'm going to take this one, glue it onto the bottom side. And I'm going to make sure uh, that it actually connects and it looks good. So if um, I'm going to trim the... Uh, black piece down is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, I'm going to trim it down, glue it onto these sides, and, uh, hopefully it turns out good. Okay, I glued it in. Uh, I think it's looking okay. Let's see what it looks like when we turn it inside out. Please look good. Come on. Wow, that is... That looks pretty good, I gotta say. It's a little misshapen. I might have to kind of find a way to like, I don't know, bend this in a little more. But I'll figure it out. Right now I'm just gonna stop it. Okay, so basically he's like a flat ramp nightmare machine right now. Or whatever. So I think I'm gonna put some glue in there and then just kind of push it in to make to make sure it hold it it holds its shape more. I'm gonna do a little bit on the blue too to make sure it really holds the shape. But uh, after that, I'm gonna stuff it. And then we just have the details, like the inside of the face and a little bit of glittering. Okay, okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's cut out some circles for the eyes, and I think I might add a little bit of glittering on the head. Okay, I made the eyes. So I added the eyes on, and also I decided not to add any withering to the head. So next up, we're going to do the teeth, and then attach this to the body. And I'm pretty sure that's really body done. Okay, so I did this little thing. I glued this, and for the teeth, you're going to get this little piece of white. Hold it over itself. Hold over itself again. Hold over itself one more time. And... And you're going to follow the steps, but glue it every time, and then you can put it on there. We're going to make four of these, so do this four times. Okay, so it's been a little while since I began, since I filmed. So, we're back to filming. As you can see, the light's a little different. So, uh, last time I was here, I told you the teeth, and um, I glued them all. As you can see, I folded them up and I glued them all together. So, we got four of those little teeth down there. You can see it was just a little messy, but loose stuff. So, next, 
I'm gonna glue all the teeth on. So you're gonna take one tooth, glue it on upwards in the front, same with another tooth right there. And then for these teeth, you're gonna not glue them upwards, you're gonna put them to the side and glue them downwards like that. I don't know if you understood what I'm talking about, but I'm just gonna glue them on and then maybe you can see what they look like. Okay, so I glued on the teeth. I don't really know if you can tell how I did it, but it's not that complicated. Next step is you're gonna wanna stuff the head and the body, and then we'll glue them together. Body head so what you're gonna do take the head glue the back on and then leave this front bit unglued so you can stuff the uh, bottom jaw a little more since you can't really get it stuffed since it's so thin so i'll be right back with you once i've done all those steps okay so you just have to glue it down and then i'll show you the finished product and if you followed all the steps correctly this tutorial i don't think i'll ever make another but um if, i don't know if this video gets like 20 20 like like a lot of views and like a couple likes then yeah sure i'll make another i guess hope you enjoyed and uh yeah see you later